next strange fact and finding. Dan, you want to take that? Our next one is Attorney General John Ashcroft. So we know that the five men were arrested, interrogated, and then released. But who signed off on their release? Who had the final say? Well, that individual was Attorney General John Ashcroft. He personally signed off on the five men to be released. Now, get this. John Ashcroft decided to become a lobbyist and consultant in 2005. Guess who his first client was? The Israeli government. Oh, yeah. Just a little little strange bum, fact bum, and finding bum. right there, a little knowledge nugget. Stick in your back pocket, take home with you. Take it home. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put it in your prison wallet. So the next one was samples. <laughs> so get this. You guys remember the van that these guys were driving around in and the bomb dogs unlearning it, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, in a declassified FBI document, it states The vehicle was also searched by a trained bomb-sniffing dog, which yielded a positive result for the presence of explosive traces. Swabs of the vehicle's interior were taken, and those samples were sent to the FBI laboratory for further analysis. Final results were lost. (laughs) Of course. Uh, course. I mean, it's a trend. You just lose it. Like the Pentagon footage, right? It's the certain frames of it. The Jeffrey Epstein footage lost. Pizzagate. I mean, this is a trend. They need to work on their uh, middleman. Malaysian flight. They got some problems. They need to have a chain of command. That's what they need to have, a chain of command. And whoever breaks that chain of command needs to get fucking imprisoned. Well, then they would cover for that guy. They need to hire the crew from Maury. 